Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing a brand new user-made Let's Play of Drawd uh, called A Quiet Place by Gog, though his forum name I believe is something different. Um, the, how I ran across this was I was looking through a forum member named Trickster, uh, what her favorite holds were, and this was alphabetically the first one on the list, and I kind of went with it, and uh, we're going to see how this goes. So let's begin. Bethro's memory was more disjointed than usual. There was a king whose name Bethro forgot, who wanted a simple pit, nothing of deep consequence, cleared out, but added. By the way, there's rumor of ancient treasure, do be sure to mention if you notice anything shiny. Bethro's only other recollection was of the last one sent by the king quite long ago, the self-proclaimed Bothius the Slayer. He had never come back. So, uh, this is kind of deep. <laughs> um, interesting. So let's just see what we've got here. I'm not, I have no clue what's in store for me, so, um, we will see how this goes. All right, let's go. Oh God, I am off to a scary p starting position, and this seems really complex. <laughs> I should. Um, oh boy. Uh, okay, that seems to work. If I, I almost have to go down here. Um, I can't afford to backslash as much as I would like. Um, much as I'd like to kill this roach. So let's just go in here. Okay, I'm at a save point. What do these do? This opens up a whole lot of goodness. This first one opening this door. Uh, all right, well, let's just see what happens here. Okay, that. Okay, I see what's happening. I need to kill these snakes. This one kills that one. Closes, closes. Okay, got it. But I have to do this in order because it opens up the next one. Got it. As you saw here when I clicked on the orb, or uh, this one, yeah, so I have to do this kind of in order. Um, guess I can wait for this one to uh, roll around like that. Alright, that kills the one at the... How am I going to get the Wraithwing? Oh no! Okay, this is complicated, I see. The Wraithwing is going to get stuck back here, and that is not what I want. Yeah, there's no way I can get to him. Okay, that's one problem I need to address. Um... The way I could do it, I think, is when this guy, when this snake tries to escape, he gets caught on him, which would require uh, making the first one I hit, so like this one up here, this snake, uh, wait, such that this guy is in a better position. Let's see how this works. Now this wouldn't be good because the snake will prefer to go up at this point, so can I wait one more round? Yeah, that's a little bit better. I mean, he's in a better position, like, at least buy me some time, so... Um, let's see if I can't do this this way. Like that? Alright. Boom. Okay, that takes care of him. Um, now, I got this eye and these roaches. These shouldn't be too bad. This is Queen I'm interested in. The second I step down here, she's going to flee into one of these areas, which should be bad. So I need to time this such that her roaches spawn just so. So I'm going to change my directions here. Oh crap. Uh, I uh, did that way wrong. Let's wait till this. How did I do this? Was it three? Yeah. There we go. Boom. Dead. I'm going to wait here until maybe like three turns are left. Let's do two. That's fine. Seems fine to me. Alright, now, something I do have to worry about is I'm under a little bit of a time limit here. This this tar is going to grow, and I do not want it to grow there, so i got a, a little bit of work to do. Oops. can slash across that way. Now, I do see this snake here uh, needs to die, and I see a quick way I can do it, actually. There are two breakable walls right here. Um, so if I let a tar baby grow, I should be able to let it kill the snake and have no real consequence. Um, the last thing I see that I need to take care of is this guy, and I don't believe that coming over this ridge here I can get this uh, roach to stay beneath me without doing some fancy juggling. And wh what I mean by beneath me is um, I need to get something in here to kill this snake, is basically uh, the point here. Uh, and this roach probably isn't going to cut it, so... Um, Tar baby, however, might work. Let's just see how this goes. So, see, I couldn't get around that roach. There's no way I could beat him up there, so let's... That. 
that's kind of what I wanted to see happen. Perfect. All right. And if I can wait here. And perfect. Excellent. All right. That was a really fun opening room. And apparently one floor big. So a stare into the dark. I see the enemies all around me. I cannot escape. Dread like this was not meant to be felt. But the promise of eternity beckons me forward. B. B as in B3? I don't know. Ugh, this is kind of a somber hold. Not not lighthearted at all. Um, a quiet place. I wonder if this is a poem I'm missing or if this uh, guy who made this hold made this up himself. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But anyway, the first room is done and it was extremely fun. Um, a few missteps here and there, but not too bad. The second level. Bethro tossed the scroll aside as he dove further, muttering, Bothius the Slayer? Sounds more like Bothius the Coward. Oh, Bothius is the bee. Okay, got it. Oh boy, uh, running for my life room again. Uh, ooh, okay, I think I now understand the theme of this particular oops, dungeon is, uh, or hold, I guess, is... Nope, that wasn't going to work. I don't have time to adjust my stance there. I, gotta, I just got to book it. Um, it's like me running for my life. Alright, that didn't quite work out like I planned either, so... Is there any way to, uh... This seems like pretty much how it, this has to happen. There we go. Somehow that worked this time. I'm not really sure. Do I have to hit this? I think I do. Um... That one I probably don't have to hit, though. In fact, I'd really rather not if I can afford to, because any extra goblin's going to make my life much more complicated. Oh, boy. Um. This could be tricky. Let's see here. Oh, hey, look at that. I either got really lucky or... Oh boy, this is going to be real close. Okay, uh, I can handle two goblins. Absolutely can handle two goblins. I already am handling two goblins. Perfect. Okay, whew, that was a... Uh, so I can just clear the rest of this out without any consequence, right? Nothing's going to hurt me. I'm going to just ignore the brain for a second in case I didn't really look at the room too hard. What does this scroll say? I am the destroyer. Those who came before you failed, as you will do. X. Man, this is a somber hold. I don't know what to think of that. I'm a little, a little scared. Um, okay, come here. I guess I can kill the brain now. Let's see why not. X. and B. Who's X, I wonder? Let's go south. Let's see. Some artwork over here. Especially, I guess, something to do when you don't have to fill up the whole room. Uh, I don't see why I can't go down the diagonal. This seems like it'd be pretty easy. I'm just going to sneak right through here. Why not? Seems like this is sort of the right solution. I just kind of messed it up. Um, I'm also running out of time, which is always a pleasure. It's a thing, pleasurable thing to do is run out of time. You can just do that. I don't really care. Uh, yeah. All right. There's a good start. Alright, this seems like a good stopping point. I, um, this should be pretty easy for this point. I just need to guide the goblin out and kill everything. Uh, but yeah, I won't be able to do that right now. So, this, I only got two rooms done, but they've been two very fun rooms. I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, anyway, this has been your host, Pearls, doing A Quiet Place, a new draw adventure. Until next time, bye bye